say what is going on guys and a lot of you who maybe actually watched my GTA 5 money glitch video yesterday which probably were very few of my subscribers because a lot of you guys never subscribed for money glitches but the truth is a lot of you may have noticed and some of you actually even pointed out that I do have a new mic a blue snowball and hopefully you guys do like the audio quality of this it is much better than that $10 headset I used to be running but the truth is that today's video is going to be all about finishing games and a lot of people a lot of people that I talk to even myself I'm not actually finishing games like I used to finishing them like I used to on the PlayStation 2 and I don't mean finishing an online match I mean like finishing the game like the story mode like the hundred percent completion it's like whatever happened to going for a hundred percent complete now I mean you don't even got to even use like uh, cheat codes even anymore to eat your hundred percent completes you just don't even try anymore and like the whole I used to chase achievements I don't chase achievements anymore but basically this is what happened that made me bring this up uh, Titanfall I got that up over a month ago actually it wouldn't be fair to say over a month ago I didn't get it like the day it came out so I got it about a month ago and I honestly have not played it in probably two weeks that's not that Titanfall is a bad game it's just that it's just not a game that I ever think of playing because I have so many different games I could be playing so many different options that I think I overlook a lot of them. And you look at how I got Watch Dogs in the thumbnail. A lot of you guys were probably pretty excited about how Watch Dogs came out yesterday. That's another game. And you look at what Watch Dogs is going to do to all the other games. Look what it's going to do to GTA. It's not going to take away every GTA player, but I mean, it's going to somewhat dig in to the players playing GTA. You look at Call of Duty Ghosts. People would tell you that nobody is playing Call of Duty Ghosts anymore, that everybody's playing Black Ops 2, and that's not entirely true because the truth is we have so many game options i'd really like to know if you guys are still out there going for your 100 percent completing games just pretty much getting everything done on the game playing the game to what the developer put in there playing it all out just doing everything you can on the game and i think i look back at probably three years ago I didn't have Xbox Live Gold, I wasn't playing online, I didn't think it was worth the money because I was so used to playing on that PlayStation 2 back when I, you know, didn't play online back when pretty much nobody played online. And looking back on that, I'd say those were probably some of my best gaming experiences when I didn't play online because once I got into playing online, pretty much at Modern Warfare 3 Black Ops 2 era, I got into playing online a lot, I quit actually like completing a lot of stuff on the game I just started playing these 10 minute matches and I kind of lost my attention span for any like real deep gaming like honestly I don't think I could sit down and play a game like Skyrim where it's not online because I just don't think I have the attention span to pull that off anymore everything's been put into such short 10 minute game increments and you look at GTA, yeah, I can play GTA, but GTA is just a whole bunch of screwing around with your friends, and it's not really the same. And yeah, sure, I kind of do want to unlock like every clothing item in GTA, but I don't think I'm ever going to do it. And I'm not actually going to buy all this stuff legit because I'm doing these money glitches, and I'm just kind of cheating my way through stuff on most of these games. And I'm not actually going along and playing the game out to what the developer really wanted to see out of the game and you look at the Call of Duty Ghost campaign and statistically on the PlayStation Network something like 60% of players have never earned the achievement for getting the first kill on the Call of Duty Ghost campaign which tells you that they haven't touched that segment of the game I've never touched extinction on Call of Duty Ghost nor have I touched the campaign so it is really disappointing I think to me and a lot of us just move on to the next game. We look at a game like Watch Dogs just came out yesterday, and we jump on to go play that. Now, Watch Dogs is unique in the fact that nobody's really going to jump out of Watch Dogs to go play something else. Mario Kart 8 is pretty much the only other big release we have coming up here until, like, September. So, I think that now is when things are going to start to slow down. People are going to start to look back at their older games. Some people already are looking back at their older games, looking at Black Ops 2. And say, you know, why don't I go play that instead? But they're not going for that 100% completion. I'd really like to know if you guys have any core games that you're going for the 100% on, going to like play the crap out of. 
And then my last thing before you guys get out of here is GamerClips.tv has went through a massive site update. You can now earn points on the website just by doing various activities such as commenting, rating, posting videos, and what you're going to do with those points you earn is you can use them in their store to buy a variety of games, anywhere from games that you know, maybe I personally haven't heard of to the popular games like DayZ. So if you're a YouTuber, and even if you're not a YouTuber and you're just a random viewer on YouTube, you'll still want to check out GamerClips.tv for a chance at picking up some of those free games. I will have my referral link in the description. This way I can get some points for you guys joining up. Thank you guys all for watching.